Hey, Christopher. What is the temperature in the car? The temperature in the car is currently 15. Oh, that's cold. Hey, Christopher. Set the heat to 20 degrees. Okay, I've set the air conditioner to 20 degrees to warm things up. Great. And Christopher? Can you blow some warm air on my hands? Perfect. I will set up the airflow to warm your hands directly. Awesome. And Christopher? Please turn on the warm feet setting. Okay. I'll send some warm air through the floor vents. Great. And Christopher? Set the air to recirculate. The air is already set to recirculate. Okay. Though, Christopher, it's too hot now. Okay, I have decreased the temperature to 23 degrees. That's better. Hey, Christopher, turn off the feet warming setting. Okay, I will stop heating through the floor vents. Great. Hey, Christopher, turn on the windshield defogging system. Okay, I configured the heat to clear up the windshield. Great. And Christopher, can you set the passenger side seat to medium heat? Okay, I've set the passenger seat to medium heat. That's great. And Christopher, are the climate control settings synced up? There are currently different climate control settings for the passenger and driver. Oh, that's what I thought. Hey, Christopher, I am by myself in the car now. Do you want me to sync up the climate control settings? Yes, please. Okay, I have applied the climate control settings globally. That's great. And Christopher, please use the current state as my default setting. Okay, the current state is now the default state. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Tarun Verma, Managing Partner of Silicon Catalyst. Silicon Catalyst is the world's only incubator and accelerator focused on semiconductor solutions. We accelerate startups from idea through prototype and onto a path to volume production. Since inception, we have engaged with more than 800 semiconductor startups worldwide and have admitted 90 exciting companies to our 24-month bespoke incubation program. Our companies are guided through their 24-month incubation program through a team of Silicon Catalyst partners. Our ecosystem provides everything our startups need to design, fabricate, and market semiconductor solutions. The Applied Brain Research team is developing a breakthrough product family of AI chips, which allow cloud-side speech and signal AI models to run at the edge at low cost, power, and latency. They have joined us in December of 2022, and we are very pleased to have them join us, our incubation program, and applaud their industry recognition as a recipient of this year's CES 2023 Innovation Awards honoree. My partner, Richard Curtin, and I look forward to working with Chris and Pete and the entire ABR team to accelerate the market success of their TSP family of devices. Yeah, we're very excited to be joining the family of companies that is working with Silicon Catalyst to accelerate the release of our time series processing chip. Couldn't be happier. We're very happy to be announcing at CES the upcoming release of our chat chip. This is a chip that does exactly what you would think from its name. It will carry on intelligent conversations. It will help you use devices that it's embedded into. It can spout user manuals to you, um, give you more information about features and things that might otherwise be hard to discover. In general, it can carry on conversations. We're really excited to be announcing a recent partnership that we have started with Silicon Catalyst. They are going to be guiding our way through the release of our new TSP chat chip, which can be used, as the name suggests, for intelligent dialogue, it can be easily embedded into any system. And the numbers are kind of astounding, 100x less power, 10 times bigger than what you'd be able to put on current CPUs and GPUs, which would be drawing power that wouldn't be the kind of thing you could run on a battery. Probably the most exciting thing about our chip is that it's implementing a new kind of algorithm. So this algorithm is called the Legendre memory unit. And unlike most neural networks, we can actually prove that it's optimal for compressing time series data while streaming. And that just gives the chip a massive advantage when taking large AI models and compressing them into a size that you can actually run on a battery. Our chip runs with about 100x less power 
than what you'd be using on a CPU or GPU or even special purpose edge hardware for similar sized models. So we believe it's a pretty significant advance. One of the interesting things about our new technology is that there's a new algorithm embedded into this hardware. We call that algorithm the LMU or Legendre memory unit. And it's interesting because it's provably optimal at compressing time series data. Usually you can't prove anything much about neural networks. And one of the other interesting facts about this algorithm is that it comes from our study of how time cells work in the brain. So it's actually based on what we think is going on inside the hippocampus, which is doing a lot of event processing in mammalian brains. We've taken that algorithm, we've sort of determined what the basic mathematics are of it, and then we built a chip that can compute those mathematics incredibly efficiently. Yeah, thanks for the question. So basically, there are two chips that we're really excited to announce here at CES. They're in the TSP family, time series processor family that ABR has been developing. The first is a signal chip, and the second is a chat chip. The signal chip will process any kind of time series data and do it extremely efficiently. This is you know, perfect for applications in manufacturing, monitoring machines, doing radar processing, you name it. The chat chip is kind of just obviously what you might think it would be from its name. You put it in a device and you can now have conversations with that device. So just raw audio in and it will speak back to you and has lots of natural language processing on there as well. So it could do things like tell you about the user manual of the device or help you solve a problem with the device or give you pointers to new features or answer questions that you might have in order to use the device or just understand your commands and get the device to do what you want. We have been to CES before, but we're super excited to be there this year to announce the release of our TSP family of chips. I'm gonna talk about one of those, it's called the chat chip. It's really exciting because it has a new kind of algorithm running on it, one which is based on how brains actually process temporal information. We can prove that that algorithm is optimal, and so we stuck it on a chip, and now you can put that chip in a device and have a conversation with the device. So it has uh, audio processing, gets rid of noise, it has natural language processing, so it can understand what you say, and it can do text-to-speech so it can speak right back to you. So you can imagine just telling a device what to do, and it can figure it out, and you don't have to memorize keywords or know any special phrases. You just explain to the device this is what you want to happen, and it can figure out what to do. Pretty exciting. Yeah, we're super excited to be announcing the release of our TSP family of chips. A family consisting of two right now. The first is the chat chip, and the second is the signal chip. The chat chip, just like it sounds, you can carry on intelligent conversations with just putting this individual uh, chip in your device. So it can tell you how to use it, it can help you troubleshoot problems and so on, tell you about a new product, etc. Signal processing chip is something a little bit more for hardcore signal processing, the kind of thing you might find in industry 4.0, where you want to do uh, anomaly detection or any kind of sophisticated signal processing for radar, radio frequency, you name it, and it will work. 